Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here, the current resistance that we're up against and taking a quick brief look at Ethereum obviously breaching through $3,000. What a day. Yeah, what an achievement for Ethereum. That's very nice indeed. Let's start off here with Bitcoin. And uh, in my opinion, the, you know, the pretty mighty level of resistance that we are up against right now. And surprise, surprise, it is, it is the CC level. Yeah? So we're right up against the top almost of the CC. Okay. This we can see we hit the low of it. We got a pretty substantial pullback, I want to say, for you know, pullback that lasted. If we zoom into the one hour chart, you can see we hit the, the you know the bottom level of the CC. We got a pullback of around 3.5%, which lasted two days. So it really was two days of grinding down price action. Fairly quote unquote boring now. And what we really saw to you know end it was this level of resistance coming back into support. And we can see that we you know, hit the bottom of our CC level, grinded down over the course of two days before ultimately coming to this resistance level, flipping into support and, you know, holding it relatively well for the course of a few days and bam, moving up to the upside. And what can we see what we've moved up to now? Well, now we're up at the top of the CC level, not a nice wick kind of through it, but nevertheless, rejecting from the top of that CC now. Um, you know, I always say to myself, what, what's the best trade here? Is it a long? Is it a short? Well, I think you can already know if you know how I trade by now. Of course, there's no way that I'm longing into the top of the CC resistance. That for me is the, the only trade possible is either a short position or just no trade at all. Depends on the time frame you're trading, your experience, you know, whether you think you can manage that trade. Personally, I'm, you know, happy to take shorts off at the top of the CC. And we obviously did in the end get a you know a little bit of a pullback here. Where can we see that we bounced off of? Well, if we take our fib locally from that low up to the high, we can see that we come right into the top of that CC for another bounce. Yeah. So just as we kind of hit the bottom of the CC here, we got our pullback. Well, here we can see we hit the low of the CC there, and we got a bounce. So you know the CC on every time frame, pretty pretty nice. No. Uh, but if we remove that a second, we can also see a secondary level of confluence that we had here. When we look at our sort of this resistance, yeah. So we can see resistance, resistance, resistance. When we bring that across, we can see we went resistance into support. So we had a resistance support bounce, or simultaneously, of course, having that top of the CC there. So that's what you call a you know relatively nice confluence uh, for 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 a bounce there and. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, what, what did we run into here? Well, we went support, 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 back into resistance. So, I mean, hard to argue that this isn't technically trading very well indeed right now. Bitcoin, you know, I, I want to say it's relatively slow. Uh, you know, the moves aren't happening instantly. But nevertheless, you're still having, a, you know, you're still having technical trades here. And, you know, what do you want? Do you want the excitement and the, uh, you know, the... Um, you know, the rushes or do you just want like a nice relaxed style of trading? And this is, I truly believe, like a pretty relaxing style of trading. It's not that not that difficult. And the levels are being respected really well. Or well, simultaneously, we're having absolute insane moves to the upside on Ethereum. As you all know, I am definitely long on that one. Expecting very good things as we breach 3,000. So it's like Ethereum coming up to around that 3,200. We obviously breached it slightly. Uh, so Ethereum coming up to around, well, actually, let me just confirm that the current high of that move, yeah, 3,200, still not the same. So yeah, 3,200 while Bitcoin bashing into that around 59,100 level. Um, so, you know, you have to, you have to think like what's, like I said at the start, what, what's the best trade here? Uh, we, we can say like if you're if you're trading on the one minute time frame. So if you're you if you are comfortable being a low term time frame, you know, quick in and out trader, of course, you know, you can be, you know, this is what I say, like I would, you know, I, I would open this out. I would never long into the CC, but you have to remember this is don't take my words literally as if I would never long into the CC because I do think that that was an acceptable scope long position. Yeah, because you went into the CC, you went into the uh, support resistance flip. So that for me is is an acceptable long trade. And you might think it doesn't that contradict what you just said of you'd never long in the CC. We have to remember, um, you know, th there's a big emphasis of my trading on the time frames here. I'm talking about a trade here within the CC that's a long that might last, you know, five minutes. Or, or, you know, I wouldn't look here to open a swing trade because when you come out to like the four hour time frame, of course, this isn't this isn't an area where I'd look to swing long, you know. So you have to remember it's very, very, um, you know, it's very time frame dependent, let's say. And if you are looking for longs into the CC, you obviously are looking to, you know, they'll last anywhere between maybe one to 10 minutes long, you know. And the shorts, 
you can have a different perspective on the shorts where you could get into a you know a sculpt trade per se and you, you have the opportunity a higher opportunity of, of that ending as a swing trade whereas a, a sculpt long here i wouldn't look to hold it as a swing trade now i'm in and out whereas a, as a, whereas a short i have the possibility of thinking to myself okay i potentially have a nice swing trade up from that you know so i think that's really important to understand the time frame i know this is probably a little bit confusing for the for the for the person just getting into trading but this is like how i love to trade uh currently we're just seeing a little bit of you know, sideways actions. I've already checked it all this morning. I've been trading it. There's no divergences forming, well, unless it's changed over the past five minutes. Yeah, we still have like no major divergences. There's no major like, you know, what we could say there's no major like strength, neither weakness here. It's it's totally neutral. So when it's like absolutely neutral like this, you, you just have to go off the levels that you're given here, um, which I think is, is uh, makes it relatively easier um you know you there's nothing to try and second guess yourself it's just you literally just have the levels you've got no extra you know heads up on the order flow um you know why could this be because generally it's giving nice heads up recently so so one one argument could be that today in england anyway is is a holiday i don't know about the us or anywhere else but at least in england today is, is a holiday so um you know that, that that would explain the lower volume especially now we're, we're trading London session yeah so London session or well, London's closed um you know London's gone on holiday today so um you know that that explains to me why we're seeing such low volume this morning you know because you know it's holiday in the UK so <laughs> kind of makes sense why London session is low volume um so we might see this volume pick up going into the US open which is uh, you know in a three hours time you know I'd be I'd like that I'd like to see a volume increase and either see us you know push through now 59,100 and get some real strength above the CC or alternatively you know it remains as resistance I think our, our next four hour close is going to be pretty uh you know pretty pivotal in my opinion we got one hour 45 left of this four hour close and to see whether we close above the CC level or whether we close below it obviously it doesn't mean it's bearish per se just because we close below but I think it would show a sign of strength if we close above that so I'm not bearish if we close below it, really. I'm just thinking if we close above it, for me, that's that's a little stronger than what it would be if we if we close below, you know, in a direct comparison. So that's really what I'm thinking about on Bitcoin currently. Obviously, Ethereum, what can we say? Ethereum, 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 you know, <laughs> long on every single way possible that I can be, long on the USDT, obviously long on, on um, USD, still hold a, a, an allocation of spot on this one. I think it's absolutely insanely bullish. Um guys paying for their champions subscription exo subscriptions we even got people from all the way over from japan members of the community and absolutely smashing the ethereum trade so i think ethereum is treating every i think everybody's long on eth right now it was it's not a lie it was a very easy trade so you know everybody makes money in the bull market it's not really that hard let's be honest it wasn't really it was a really kind of an easy trade this but nevertheless ethereum over one thousand over three thousand dollars absolutely insane strength very 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 nice um yeah i mean um what can we say um obviously we've been looking at the ethereum btc pair and we were had that target of the weekly order block of course we're coming right into that weekly order block um so you know a <laughs> lot lo, lo, you know like I, I i say on bitcoin yeah like i say on bitcoin did you want to long into the cc hey you know this is the thing i'm, I'm gonna say like i wouldn't long into that cc resistance and then you know you're gonna get somebody that says hey i longed the cc resistance and we pushed up higher i made money i, I mean there's a difference between uh, making money and actually having good trades and for me like this isn't a good trade longing here for a swing trade you know the, the time to long was was at support levels not at you know resistances even if you push through it's still a bad trade and it's the same i think on ethereum like could you buy ethereum and we just keep going up here and you're like hey i bought into resistance and i made money i made a good trade my, my argument is no if you buy ethereum here it's like totally fomo and you're like you've it's just it's just in my opinion even if you make money on it it's 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 a bad trade and it's a bad habit to get into there's no way that this is a sustainable way of trading if you buy uh you know these sort of moves on ETH. you know there, there has been so many opportunities to buy the dip on ethereum even over the past seven days um so there really has been like no excuse and also just the fact you know if you, you know I, I would never ever 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 in my life buy ethereum here for, for, for three thousand two hundred dollars it's just i'm not going to do it um doesn't you know 
so 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 i think that's just a, you know the thing to bear in mind you know if you're not in eth you've, you've i think you've likely missed it um to be honest with you and then you know you've got to wait for a pullback or at least wait for some consolidation to buy because if you're buying into these green candles like this it's just yeah maybe it works out you know but you're totally gambling yeah you're just totally you're throwing the dice you might as well wait for a high probability setup to come to you now um you know um yeah that, that, that's my opinion on ethereum of course it looks really good but i obviously would not even entertain the thoughts of buying this right now and um bitcoin you know i think bitcoin i think arguably well i think we can just see how it goes out of the cc yeah obviously it's, it's showing strength or, or what we could say is it's showing no weakness per se yeah it's, it's showing no weakness at the moment we had our first resistance support flip first you see we got the bounce yeah now we'd like to see this sr claimed so instead of rejecting here we can see another move up if we continue this higher highs and higher lows you know great we can look for 59,100 if we reject here well we can look back down towards 58k support you know so it's very much local day trading time frame stuff it's nothing yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. I think you can be open to trading this long, trading this short, you know, just trade the levels. They're very much well respected. And, you know, what, what are we here for? We're here to make money. And, you know, I think it's pretty easy to do that today. Um, so, you know, that, that that's my analysis here. Uh, what I would say, everybody, is <laughs> stop what you're doing right now. Stop what you're doing right now. Go over to Twitch dot tv forward slash chart champions give us a follow on twitch i'm going to do a live stream for you uh on twitch where we're going to i'm going to do a really cool one i've got a bit of a surprise and uh, we are going to go through bitcoin we are going to go through technical analysis and like be monitoring all these things as they're happening um so yeah go follow us go follow us on twitch right now uh if you have if you aren't on twitch go sign up to it go follow chart champions you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the decision and we're gonna take a look at bitcoin so um yeah i'll do that on live stream with you over on twitch i'll upload this video now and uh yeah i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed it of course of course of course no trading advice in the video just entertainment educational purposes of course you all love the legal disclaimers so make sure you understand them and um I hope that you have an absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And uh, continue to crush these charts. Even the even the community all the way from Japan. Absolutely wonderful. That is worldwide. Exactly as predicted team. Thank you ever so much. Cheers and goodbye.